it's no longer storytelling, it's story living and story doing. And I think that there has never been a time when that is more, that is closer to the truth than today. The next frontier for AI comes in the form of hardware, comes in the form of robots, comes in the form of new wearables, comes in the form of whatever device it is that we end up using, because we're going to start to bring AI into a more useful world or into our physical world to be more useful for us. So I think it's important for people to understand that the moment that we're in has changed how we engage with the internet. Just like our mobile phones change how we engage with technology, we're at that shift again when it comes to human to human communication and human computer interaction. So what you're gonna to start to see is new devices that make it easier for us as humans to interact with our technology. I, I know I use this in the book, but for example, the mouse, that's how most of us, if we're on our, we're our computers, right? We're using our mouse. The mouse is a wonderful, wonderful invention, right? But is it very human? Is this the, mo the easiest way for us humans to engage with technology? No, it's given, it's given us carpal tunnel syndrome. And traveling with a mouse is not easy, so we have trackpads. So it's that whole thing. We are at the cusp, again, of changing how we interact with technology and how we interact with each other. What is happening as well is through gaming, through Unreal, like game engines, through 3D formats, whether it's Gaussian splats or photogrammetry, the evolution from 2D content to 3D content, right? So that in turn will enable new content formats and new opportunities for media companies, whether it is spatial audio, which has already been something that a lot of people have worked on, to spatial video, video that you can relive in 3D. We're about mm -hmm. to change those experiences, right? And I think back in the day when you and I kind of met, there was that saying of like, it's no longer storytelling, it's story living and story doing. And I think that there has never been a time when that is more, that is closer to the truth than today.